In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create animations and how they work. Create a new project. Add a button widget to the screen. Set the align value to bottom mid. Set the Y position to minus 30. Then add a panel widget to the screen. Set its width and height to 50 pixels. Set a background color for it. Set the background radius to 50. I'm going to show you how to start an animation on the circle by clicking the button. Select on the animation panel. Enter a name for the animation and then click the add animation button. The manage animation section appears, which always shows the last animation created by default. If you have multiple animations, you can choose from them in the Select Animation drop-down list. From the Test Object list, you can choose the widget you want to test on the animation you create. From the Animation Property list, select Position Y parameter. Then press the Add Property button. With Start and End values, we can determine which two states the animation should change between. Delay specifies the delay of the animation, and Time defines the time of the animation. The Instant checkbox decides whether to apply the start value before or after the delay. If Instant is enabled, the start value will be applied before the delay. Set the End value to 50 and the start value to 0. Now set the time to 500 milliseconds. We can also select the characteristics of the animation. To do so, select the second icon. Then add another Position Y property animation. Set the start value to 50 and the end value to 0. Then turn off the relative checkbox to set the absolute coordinate. For the delay parameter, enter 500 milliseconds. Hence, it will be played after the previous property animation because its length was 500 milliseconds. Set the animation length to 400 milliseconds. Set the characteristics to the middle. You can test the animation you create by selecting the Created Circle widget from the Test Object dropdown and pressing the Play button in the Animation panel. Now, let's play this animation when the button is clicked. Select the button and add an event at the bottom of the inspector panel. Type a name for it. Select Play Animation Action and click the Add Action button. From the Animation drop-down list, select the animation you have created and choose the circle widget as a target. Press the Play button and you'll be able to test how it works. Thank you for watching this video. Next time, I'm going to show you how to export a code and add a unique call function event.